into the role of Jack Abbott in 1989, you couldn't help but fall in love. Now, three daytime Emmys and seven TV marriages later, he's celebrating 30 years as one of Genoa City's leading men on the number one daytime trip. I'm so happy right now. The Young and the Restless. Let's take a look at how it all began. Your dad and Ashley must be thrilled to have you back, huh? Actually, I haven't seen them yet. You were the first. I am? Yep. Actually, I couldn't wait to see if the black man had caught on to you yet. Apparently, you still got him snug. As a matter of fact, we don't see too much of Victor around here. Well, let's just hope our luck holds out. Anyway, I gotta run. Joe. It is great to be back. It's not as, as much fun. <laughs> but what would your real life wife, Mary Ellen, uh, give? Uh, what type of advice would she give Jack? I, 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 I think she would probably <laughs> tell Jack, for most women, Jack, truth is an important thing. Oh, yes. And uh, 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 you might want to start with that. Oh, and, my yeah, God. that's not been Jack's strength. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> yeah. Now, one of your greatest loves was. Phyllis. So this, yes. yes. Now, um, when the show first put you together, how how was the chemistry? It, it was a crazy thing, Sharon. Uh, I never know where they're going. I asked mm -hmm. them not to tell me where they're going. Mm -hmm. And I was in Studio City, walking outside a restaurant, and I hear, Peter! And uh, this redhead comes run. Oh, it's Michelle Stafford, who had been on the show before. Mm -hmm. We all knew her. And she said, I hear they're putting us together. I'm coming back to the show. Mm. And I, thought, I, I remember thinking, no. no. <laughs> Jack and Phyllis? Yeah. No. And it's turned out to be the greatest. Yes, it's great. And as we saw in the clip, your first scene was with Jess Walton. Uh, yes. She remains one of your favorite people to work with, right? Mm -hmm. And how has the relationship evolved over the past 30 years? So Jess and I have watched you. One of my earliest memories of being on the show is she told me her son was playing Little League Baseball and I had one baby in a backpack and my three-year-old son uh, and we went to see Cole play uh, uh, baseball and uh, uh, Jess was there making Viking jokes. You look like a Viking family. <laughs> uh, but, but we've watched each other go through so many life changes that when I work with her, it is girded by years and years of history yeah. and comfort yeah. and respect and it's a joy to work for yeah. any kind of work. Now, to celebrate um, the 30th anniversary, your 30th anniversary, The Young and the Restless is airing a special episode with all of the Can you yeah. tell everyone what, that, what we expect to see? So on the 25th of November, uh, Jack and his sister have been writing uh, kind of the family chronicle, trying to uh, mark the Abbott family's history. Mm -hmm. And she's finally finished with the book. And she, at the beginning of the show, she hands him the book. And Jack spends an entire show yeah. remembering 30 oh, years wow. Of, wow. Uh, of the show. Wow. And it's pretty proud. It's pretty proud. History. You know, you look at the 30 years, that's unbelievable. But I know the fans, one of their favorite things are the Abbott family 
uh, breakfast oh, that they have. And so when you're having these breakfasts, are they just, I mean, they look so fun. Are they that fun for you guys? They I mean, are that fun. Uh, the difficulty when we get taping is not laughing. <laughs> because we have so many laughs in the morning and, and somebody messes up a line and it turns into an ongoing joke that we all use the word she was wrong and things like that. And uh, there have been some food fights, there have been <laughs> flying uh, things, but uh, it's like a it, for me, it is an incredible joy anytime I'm with all of the Abbots. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, by, by circumstance, uh, Jack's father dies and I am de facto the head of the family. Wow. And so from, from the day I, I moved oh, oh, oh. to the head of the table, oh. I have, I'm in charge of these people. Yeah. These people are, are my, my keep, my, yeah. the people I look after. Yes. And, and it's, it's a, a very personal thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's okay. okay. It's so beautiful. It's so fast. Look, I mean, to be the patriarch of the Abbott family, I mean, yes, and I, I think you wear it well. You, you Do you feel it. the same way in your own family? In my own family, <laughs> I'm also the head of that family. <laughs> That's fair too. No, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 been an amazing ride. I, I I was convinced I could make this job last for six months. No, really? oh, I'm oh, absolutely oh, convinced. I'm coming out to California, and we'll get set up. Oh, and by the time I'm yeah. fired. We'll know where we are. Yeah. 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 Thirty years later, we want to take a moment to congratulate and celebrate your thirty years on the Young and the Restless with some candy.